A football kit has changed significantly throughout the history of football. Today the professional attire is practical and balanced, and it is difficult for us to imagine a football player dressed in something bulky and inconvenient. In order for the uniform to acquire a modern look, it took a century of innovations in production as well as continuous standardization on the part of football governing bodies. But how did it all begin, and what uniform did the pioneers of football play? Subscribe to Football Geeks and let's geek it out! It is quite obvious that the first football uniform, if it could be called so, appeared in the homeland of the football founders, the United Kingdom. By the middle of the 19th century, football was already one of the most popular sports, although it did not have any official recognition. Gradually, the new game has transited from the so-called game of crowds to a more organized one, which contributed to the emergence of the first amateur clubs. With the growing numbers of these clubs, there was an urgent need to somehow standardize the rules. The first rules of football were developed in 1848 at the University of Cambridge. Several representatives of the university met with the functionaries of private schools in order to formulate and adopt a set of unified rules. The discussion lasted for about eight hours, and as a result, the first list of rules appeared, which was published under the name Cambridge Rules. They were approved by most schools and clubs, and later, with minor changes, Cambridge rules were used as the basis of the official rules of the Football Association of England, that is, the organization that gave rise to the modern football. These rules were released in 1863 in London. But the problem with the early loss of the game was that little attention was paid to the kit and equipment. Sure thing, who cared about the uniform when the goalkeepers were allowed to use hands only in 1871? In the 70s of the 19th century, the football kit had only one basic rule. It was made up of four elements – a hat, a heavy jersey or shirt, trousers and stockings, which were tucked into the trousers. And that's all. No more requirements. Sometimes football players even wore top hats, because the appearance of headdress was not regulated. In addition, the first rules forgot to specify the color of football kits, and therefore the early teams dressed as they pleased. Only in 1870 the following unwritten rule appeared. The players of one team should be dressed in a uniform of the same color, preferring dark shades, for example blue, black or brown. However, it was not the difficulties with identifying the teammates that worried the first football players on the pitch. In the 19th century, there was no alternative to bulky leather boots, which were not only inconvenient because of their rigidity and weight, but also truly traumatic. The rules of 1863 prohibited the use of studs or any protruding elements on a shoe. Only after 30 years, in 1891, the necessary adjustments were made to these norms. The studs were allowed, but they had to be leather-made and not to protrude from the sole for more than half an inch. The studs were nailed to the shoe, and this is how the specialized footwear for football was obtained. This type of football boots did not change for almost half a century, and only after the Second World War, the most important attribute of a football form got its new stage of development. The football kit has undergone further changes, namely with the growing popularity of the game itself, with the establishment of new football associations in European countries, and with the establishment of an international football federation. If you want to learn more about the history of modern football technical aspects evolution and you're interested in such content, then do not forget to subscribe to Football Geeks and like this video. Consider watching more episodes suggested on the screen and come back soon!